I'm out on the patio. Just want to show you something here. Right outside Dion's room. Cigarette butts. Okay. Cigarette butts. Now, when I moved in, Dion said, oh, here's another cigarette butt. When I moved in here, Dion asked me, do you and your partner smoke funny stuff? Do you know why she said that? Because she then said, because I've been finding cigarette butts. There you go, there's another cigarette butt. Now, then she went on to attack me and my partner, she, her and her friends who seem to be under the influence of something. Now, it does state in the uh, contract that tenants are not allowed to smoke on the premises at all, at all, not even outside. Which is interesting because after she attacked me and my partner and then went on to assault me after ignoring a police caution from PC Wright EB411, the police officer that I've reported to the IOPC for saying he saw me smoking outside when I had my phone in my hand in distress um, I don't smoke, in fact actually I'm making complaints about to the council about smoking in bus shelters and, um, and smoking outside the Tesco entrance which is against the law, it's a £100 fine. In fact Tesco employees actually did something about it last night. Um, because I don't like the smell of cigarettes. Now, the fact that this police officer that I've reported to the IOPC made a, a slanderous false claim saying I could smell cannabis, I could smell... And the fact that Dion said, do you and your partner smoke funny stuff because I've been finding cigarette butts? Well, isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting? So, what were she and her friends under the influence of? You know, because they've, she's assaulted me several times. She assaulted me over this. Didn't like me writing messages, can you wipe up, the, clean up after yourselves? And hey ho, after a night of loud music in the early hours and this disgraceful disgusting mess um, and she's not doing her washing up and this is something that the maintenance man apparently took photographs of before I moved in here she assaulted me over this window and there's nowhere for the fruit flies to escape to police said that the landlady had the keys to the back door and the window and I filmed them in my room saying this several times and as I said to Terry well how can she if she lives in Malta and then I've got the landlady texting me saying can you put the keys back to the back door and I said I'm gonna now that it's been returned I'm going to get this key cut, but what about this key? Because they were stolen at the same time. So, um, after being messed around on Police 101 last night, um, and the call handler was saying to me, have you reported Dion for um, switching off the washing machine whilst you were using it I said no because I can't keep up with this woman's demented behavior and if this woman is under the influence of drugs smoking funny stuff 
which in the contract says you're not allowed to smoke on the premises at all and they're not investigating it and she's supposed to be a school teacher and she's attacked me and my partner and they're hanging and the call handlers the police call handlers are saying well they're well within their right to hang up on you but how can it be a civil matter when you're being attacked in your own home you and your partner are having a cup of tea and she and her friend comes in as if they're under the influence of some of something and they're using foul lang language name calling the foulest of the foul slander demented um, totally and utterly demented and unprovoked me and my partner just quietly having a cup of tea in the lounge suddenly that's a civil matter and then she goes on to assault me after ignoring a police caution from PC Wright EB411 and yet 1.7 thousand people viewed the video where PC Turner turned up to say she doesn't want to write you a note and that's a school teacher yes a school teacher I told the taxi driver he couldn't believe it yes a taxi driver yeah I'm telling him I, can, I just it's, it's it's I'm lost for words a school teacher in their personal lives they have to adhere to a level of conduct and I've found um, I found something on this and I'm gonna film it and post it because in their personal lives they have to adhere to professionalism even in their private lives well that that makes that goes without saying that's just common sense isn't it you don't expect to be attacked in your own home by a school teacher who might be under the influence of drugs and police are covering it up and this is a school that's had a teacher jailed for pedophilia and raping a 14 year old yeah well don't worry because Victoria I'm not letting this go so this is all for the solicitor that I speak to